Thank you, Deborah. And our special guest is James Anamone. Welcome, James. Thanks for having me. Sure. We have a lot to talk about, but uh, we're going to start with a work that a lot of people maybe have never heard. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. So the, the first piece is called Forgotten Fairy Tales. Uh, it's Opus 4 by Edward McDowell, who was an American composer in the late 1800s. Um, so he was an American composer, studied in Paris and Germany, and um, he wrote these pieces when he was in Boston. He would later be, the, I believe, the first music professor at Columbia University. And um, we all know McDowell's To a Wild Rose. Um, a lot of people play his second piano concerto, but um, a lot of his piano repertoire is kind of uh, unheard of. And this being one of his earlier pieces, I believe there's only maybe two or three recordings of it, and the rest of it uh, is just completely unheard. So I'm um, kind of excited to and, play and this. And what attracted you to this particular work, since very few people have heard it? Yeah, I think I had learned it maybe five years ago as like a little summer project for myself. Uh, it was my first year um, after undergrad, uh, first year of undergrad. And um, I think I had listened to just a bunch of works by McDowell, and um, I was trying to find something that I could maybe try out that was new and no one had done before. So I came across this piece and um, decided to warn it. Well, here it is. Music of Edward McDowell, Forgotten Fairy Tales, played live in our WRTI performance studio by James Anamone.
charming early work by Edward McDowell, Forgotten Fairy Tales, performed live in our WRTI performance studio by James Anamone. It's a part of your program coming up, right, this, this piece? Yeah, that's right. So I have an upcoming recital this Saturday at 4 p.m. at Jacob's Music in Westchester. Um, it's part of my piano festival that I've been running for the past month. Um, it's uh, called Anamone Piano Studio Spring Festival. Um, so it's a part of my private studio that I have in Exon, Pennsylvania. And um, we've been having master classes for the past month, um, one with Dr. Timothy Blair, who is a former dean of the College in Visual Performing Arts at Westchester University, and Dr. Vincent Craig, who's associate professor at Westchester University. Um, so they both gave wonderful master classes this past month, and uh, my recital is this Saturday, and then we have uh, next month uh, my studio is giving a spring recital uh, to close the festival. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. And you said part of the program is unknown works like the Forgotten Fairy Tales. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so I'm also playing um, a sonata by J.C. Bach, uh, Johann Christian Bach, so uh, Johann Sebastian Bach's youngest son. And um, he wrote plenty of them, and they're not completely unknown to us, but they're definitely not as widely played as, say, other early classical composers like Haydn or even Mozart. Um, we We don't really program J.C. Bach quite as often, so I thought that would be a, a good um, companion. Well, the next piece you're going to play is by someone who we all are familiar with. Tell us about the Brahms piece. That's right. So um, this is from Opus 118. Um, this is a third piece, which is uh, the Ballade, and um, kind of unique to the rest of the set. This is the one that's the most extroverted and um, energetic and um, quite heroic as well. Um, despite it being in a minor key, it still has kind of a lively dance feel to it. So. Here is James Anamone to play Brahms on WRTI 90.1. Thank you. 
from the Ballad, Opus 18, number 3, of Johannes Brahms on WRTI 90.1, live in our WRTI performance studio, James Anna Monet. Uh, you are the latest in a long line. People say, oh, you're on the radio, do you know so-and-so and so-and-so? Uh, uh, you're a pianist, do you know this person? Or it turns out you do. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> quite a few people. Uh, who yeah. have been in this performance studio over the uh, past months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, my girlfriend, Rachel Lee, was here exactly a month ago. Um, uh, actually, I, I forgot to mention, uh, Dr. Terry Kleinfelter was here um, just a short while ago. My teacher, Ching Yun Hu, has performed here many times. Uh, my former teacher, Dr. Igor Rosiansky, has been here, and his students has also been here, and also Ching Yun Hu's Students have also played here, too. <laughs> so I feel like uh, I'm, the club. I'm joining the club now. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, final work that you're going to play for us today is a uh, takes a right-angle turn from Brahms. It's music mm -hmm. of Gershwin. Yes. Tell us about uh, that and the, and the arrangement as well. Yeah, so, um, so this uh, is a, a collection of concert etudes that Earl Wilde took from Gershwin's songbook. So um, there's seven of them, and, and this is probably the most widely played. Uh, so Earl Wilde basically took uh, Embraceable You and turned it into a virtuosic piano etude. Um, so it just happens to have a, a flowing melody and uh, a flowing accompaniment, I'd, I'd say, and then a, a singing melody. And um, it has tons of pedal and expression, and it, it's kind of really fun to play. Fun to play right? <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> well, it'll be fun to hear, too. Here is James Anamoni to play Embraceable You.
Embraceable You, the etude number four by George Gershwin and Earl Wilde. It was all I could do to keep from singing along. <laughs> James, tell us again about the upcoming recital at Jacob's Music. Yeah, so uh, my upcoming recital will feature works by J.C. Bach, uh, Brahms, a complete opus 118, and the second half is all American with uh, McDowell pieces, and I will be playing Friedrich Shevsky's Cotton Mill Blues. And the date and the time and the place? Yeah, so it'll be Saturday, uh, this Saturday, uh, at 4 p.m. at Jacob's Music in Westchester, right on Wilmington Pike. Terrific. Thank you, James. Thank you very much. Thanks for being our guest today. Back to you, Deborah. <laughs> 